The VLOOKUP function is a great function to return a value inside a table. For instance, here I have a VIN, Vehicle International Number, and I want to return this value from this table. But as you can see here, I have exactly the same value, but the value returns are not correct. Just for the warranty date, for example, the value returned here is 2006, but in my original table, it's 2002. So there is something wrong with the function VLOOKUP, and I'm going to show you that later. Second example. Here, I have already created my VLOOKUP function. And when I copy it, you can see that sometimes I return NA, and NA means not applicable. Why? Why it works for some cells and not for other? Again, I'm going to show you that in this video. Third example. Here, as you can see, the VLOOKUP function looks perfect. But when I change the name of my country, for instance France, I still return NA, which is a shame because, as you can see here, I've got all the countries that I want. Again, Italia. So here again, in this video, I'm going to show you why the function VLOOKUP, in that case, return NA and how to correct it. Last example. Here, I have exactly the same document, and when I change this time the ISO code country, it works. So if I select Slovakia, it works. But now, if I select Croatia, Croatia it's HR. The value return is 0 0.15. But if I look at my table, I have 0 0.14. Why? Why the function VLOOKUP doesn't return exactly the values that I want? This also, I'm going to show you that in this video. So let's start from the very first example to know why the function VLOOKUP doesn't return the values that I expect. So if I return in this document, we have noticed at the beginning of the video that this value is not correct, but the VLOOKUP function looks perfect. Well, more or less. So if I call the assistant of the function, as you can see, I have the value look for, it's J5, yes. My table array, it's A2 till F50,820, probably I trust my document. Colon index, it's 2, 1, 2, okay, warranty date, so it should be okay. But look at the last parameter, it's empty, empty here and empty here. And the last parameter expect two parameters, true or false. True, if you expect approximate match, that means it's not exactly the value you have in first parameter and the function return something looks close. It's very good when you have a gap between two values. But here what I want is the exact match. I want to return exactly the value that I have in my document. So here I have to put the value false. And because the value false is not the default value, the default value is true, the fact to forget to set the last parameter to false, return an error. And now if I just press OK, you can see now that I return the proper value of my table here. And the same for all the other formula. And you can replace also false by zero. And now it works. So if I take another VIN from here, and paste value, automatically it has changed the result. So for this first example, it's easy. It's just because we forgot the last parameter, which is very important. It depends if you want to say exact match. And if it's exact match, you have to say false. Now, in this document, why I have written NA? Well, let's focus on the parameter of the function. So what is the value I look for? A2. Yes, A2, it's my VIN number, so it's exactly what I want to return. My table array, okay, great. A2 till F50,000, like the other example, great. Colon index two and range lookup zero, that's perfect. So why it doesn't work? Well. In Excel, when something doesn't work properly, the best is to look directly the formula, like this. 
And now I have A14, great, but look at my table array. A14 and not A2, mm, that's not good. In fact, here I have forgot to lock the reference of my table. And to lock, you have to press F4, and like that, you have $2 around the reference of the cell. So here, instead of writing this, I did it. I returned to my table. So here. And I press F4 to put the dollar around the references, like this. Now, I return to my document and I press OK. And now you can see that because I have locked the reference of my table, it works perfectly. And I have to do the same everywhere. So I copy this formula till the beginning. And here again, I have to put dollar, dollar. And it works. Now, let me give you a tips and tricks. Instead of selecting a huge range of cells like I have done with the shortcuts, what you can do is to insert all your data in a table like this. So if I return here, I return to the top control home, and I go format as table, right click, Apply and clear formatting. Okay, my table has either perfect. So, so as you can see now, I have a new tab in my ribbon. I rename my table table car like this. And now in my formula, what I can do instead of using the reference like this, I can directly call TBL car like this and the result is exactly the same so when you use the name of a table inside your formula you don't have to put the dollar in this example what is a problem in fact when we look at the function vlookup everything looks perfect we have the first value to research the table with all the data we want to return the colon 2 and its exact match. But with the function VLOOKUP, what is very important to know, it's what you look for must be in the first column of your table of data. And if I edit my formula here, you can see that the country France is not in my first column, it's in second column. This is why for this problem, the function VLOOKUP doesn't know what France means. The word of the country, in that case France, must be in the first column. So what I have to do is to delete this and replace by the selection where the name of the country is in first position in my selection of my table array. And now if I validate, I have not NA but the answer that I want. Now if I change to Poland, it works. So this is the most common error with VLOOKUP. In fact, a lot of people select all the data inside the table, but the key that they are looking for is not the first one, but somewhere else. So take care, you have to select only the data where what you look for is in the first position of your selection. In this example, everything looks perfect. We have the function VLOOKUP with looking for the value hr in my table here, perfect. And we look for the ISO code, that's correct. We want to return the colon three, that's it. So everything looks fine. And what about the next one? We return the colon four. Okay, so why here I return 0 0.15 and not 14? like it is here. Here it's tricky. In fact, you have to take care of one thing here. You see, I don't have the row 10. 
the row is hided. It's very important because when you have more than one time a value, the function VLOOKUP always returns the first one. And if I extend here the colon, guess what? I have another HR value for another value. This is a mistake. So here, the function VLOOKUP was perfect, but because the function VLOOKUP is not able to detect if there is one, only one, or more than one value, is returning always the first value that you have. So now in this video, I have shown you everything about the VLOOKUP function. Now I hope you will never make another mistake with this function.